Latois family, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Latois. Today, 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 man, we're about to get into the video, man, called The Good Non-Muslim on Judgment Day. Okay, let's see what this is about. Now, remember, just first time on the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Latois family before we get started. Start it. Put a like on the video. Remember, if you got a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section, let me know, and I will get to it. Man, let's go ahead and get into this reaction. Uh, this is a question that springs to the minds of many, many, many people. And the response is multifold. First and foremost, it is not of much benefit to us to think about what is going to happen to other people. Mm. And to concentrate too much on this is actually problematic for us. We leave their affairs to Allah. That's the general rule. And the general rule as well is ask questions that are of benefit to us. And this is, we derive it from the Prophet's hadith that my ummah shall remain in good until they start asking about the children of the idol worshippers. Mm. It's interesting, vague hadith. My ummah will remain in good until they begin asking about the children of the idol worshippers. Some of the scholars have interpreted this hadith. My ummah shall remain in good mm. until they start debating about issues that are of no concern to them. I mean, what difference does it make to us what is going to happen? Allah is the most knowledgeable. Allah is the most merciful. Mm -hmm. Allah is the most wise. Mm -hmm. Allah is the most just. Let's leave it at that. That's one response and that's level one. Mm -hmm. After having said, don't ask, I will then answer anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Because there is a theological benefit here. Scholars have differed greatly over this issue. And the bottom line is that people who had access to the teachings of Islam mm -hmm. or knew monotheism but did not but did not avail themselves to that knowledge they will not have an excuse in the eyes of Allah and this particular person uh -huh. Abdullah ibn Jud'an there is a hadith in Bukhari that Aisha asked Aisha is the distant niece, uh, the grand, uh, the great, what is it called, great niece or grand niece, whatever, of Abdullah bin Jud'an. And Aisha says, O Messenger of Allah, Ibn Jud'an was a great man who was kind to the neighbors and good to the people. What will be his fate? What will happen to him? So the Prophet said, he is going to the fire. So Aisha says, why? So he says, and listen to this, he never said once, Rabbi ghfirli, Rabbi ghfirli. Now, this is a very interesting point here. Mm. In our times, people consider piety and righteousness to be only being good to others. Mm. If you're good to other people, khalas, that's all we need from you. You will go to heaven. Mm. If you open up an orphanage in Calcutta, khalas, you will become world famous. Doesn't care what you believe, doesn't care you think God has a son, this becomes irrelevant, mm. right? If you open up uh, a hospital, if you're smiling to everybody, oh, well, he was a good and loving man. Mm. In this hadith, we learn, no, that's all fine and dandy, yes, but there's an element that you need to do as well, and that is even more important than being good to others, mm. and that is believing in the one who created you, mm. and worshipping the one who created you. Yeah. In the end of the day, being good to people is good, but worshipping Allah is better and more important. Of what use is it to be good to mankind when you deny the one who gave you the greatest good and that is Allah. Wow. And so this person, Ibn Jud'an, never once did he say, Rabbil Fili, Rabbil Fili. He lived a, a, a life carefree of religion. He didn't have any religiosity. And so, it's a very simple question. Why should Allah forgive somebody who never asked Thanks for forgiveness? For forgiveness? Why should Allah reward somebody who never did anything for his sake? Hmm. Very logical cool. question. Very. Why should Allah reward somebody? In our times, the verdict of piety is based completely on how good you are to others. In Islam, the verdict of piety is based on two things. What you believe and how good you are. In the ladina Amanu wa amilu salihat. Both go together. Mm. You need to have the proper belief and do it for Allah, and then you need to have good amal that follows along with that. That's if true. You have one without the do other, good, it is and good use. comes on to it you. No but also make sure you believe in your God. As well, just because somebody says they're a Muslim, uh, doesn't mean anything. 
does not mean anything. Mm. And we believe as Muslims that no human being has the right to say, you're going to Jannah and you're going to hell. No. Mm. You don't say this to anybody unless Allah has said it. So we say Abu Bakr is going to Jannah, Iblis is going to hell. I can mm. say this because Allah told me. We say Umar is going to Jannah, Fir'aun is going to hell. We say this because Allah has told me. Otherwise, we don't say of any person, even the greatest scholars, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Malik, we say, we hope they're going to Jannah. Hmm. Insha'Allah, they're going to Jannah. But we don't say categorically. And the same applies for the worst people on earth. We don't mention names and say, so and so is going to hell. We don't say this. Why? Because who am I? Who am I? We leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we speak in generalities. Whoever believes in Allah and does righteousness will go to paradise. This is generality. Amen. Amen. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was saying. Or does not act in righteousness will go to the fire of hell. And I seek refuge in Allah from being amongst them. And this is something we're very clear about. Our religion is a religion where you need to have the proper belief and the proper action. Hmm. And if you have one without the other, you're not going to get there. And the people in the time of uh, early... The, Pro the Prophet Sallallahu early life, they knew the true religion of Ibrahim. And they knew that Ibrahim was not an idol worshipper. Mm. And yet they simply wanted to ignore and live a carefree life. Mm. And therefore, they were not, the majority of them were not forgiven because of that. Okay. Wow. Wow. Let that marinate. All that information that you just got, you got to let it marinate inside and just understand what you just just got. What it's saying for people that are non, for all the non-Muslims, it's not saying that you won't go to heaven or Jannah because you're not Muslim. What this video is saying is that Muslims cannot go around saying, oh, because you're not Muslim, you're not going to Jannah because... Um, because you are Muslim, you are going to Jannah. That's not that's not what it is. What he's saying in this video is that it doesn't matter what you believe in. As long as you do right and you believe in Allah, which in to me, Allah is the same as God. You know, my God as well. As long as you believe in God and you do right, doing right unto people, then you will go to heaven. And that's one thing I, I even, you know, try to teach my friends and even my brothers, my sisters, and let them know that, hey, you know, it doesn't matter what you believe in, okay? As long as you have a belief and you do right to all people, then you will go to heaven or, you, or whatever you believe in to, to, your, to your peace. You will become to your maximum and your up high peace, okay? But if you're doing wrong, even if you believe in the best religion and you're doing wrong, you, you, won't, go, you won't go to heaven, okay? And I believe in this. I, I agree with this video 100,000%. Like, this video is good. Thank you to my Wattwa family for recommending this video. I really love y'all for that. It's your boy, Mr. Wattwa. Get down in the comment section. Let me know another video you want me to react to. And also, let me know what you think about this video. And remember, if this is your first time on the channel and you have not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And before we leave the channel, put a like on this video. And remember, I will see you guys tomorrow. Why? Because I post videos every day. So please take care. Stay safe. Wattwa!